Hey Jamie, this video is for you. I don't think you got a chance to take a look at the setup when you were up for Work Bee Weekend, but here you can see I've got my 400 watts of solar panel. You can see it's all clouds today, so it's not very bright, but I still got water coming out. These four panels are 100 watts each. I've got connectors that tie them all in parallel together. So it's 400 watts at 12 volts going into this solar charge controller. Right now, even with how cloudy it is, they're putting 13 some volts in to, this, to the battery. So you can see there, 13.6 volts for the solar panel. And then the battery itself has 13.4 volts. Those are clouds, so even if it, even with, I would say a full cloud cover today, <clears throat> we're running pretty good. This is the well itself, is an inch and a quarter well pipe casing, and I've got two pumps, so I've got it necked down. So I've got the T there, obviously, and they're necked down to half inch packs. And I'm officially calling it a pond now, not just a solar powered puddle because. It's fairly deep there. It's every bit of a foot and a half deep in that part. Over here, it's only about a 12 inch, or excuse me, 10 inches, but. So I've got our two 12 volt RV pumps. These are just diaphragm, sure flow pumps. I get about six gallons every minute dumps out here. You can see. Here I have a, a sprinkler set up to go from half inch threaded to garden hose. And that's just that's just how it is now. I don't have the rain barrels on the top of the hill set up for the time being just because I don't really need them as of yet. I think that'll do you good for your food plot in Georgia. The biggest thing is going to be whether or not you can get it to pull off a shallow well there. It's all going to depend on your water table that you got. But that's how it's looking in the UP.